best way to think about implicit bias is that it's a collection of all the experiences that we have in the world. We have a certain kind of brain. It has learned to detect information in the world as it sees it, store it, and not have to recompute every time. But it turns out our brains are screwed up in that they don't learn accurately. In the late 1980s, we started a line of work which became the work on implicit social cognition. Most of the implicit bias work that we did in the, to start was about social groups. How it is that I might perceive people based on gender or age or race or sexual orientation and make judgments about them, not even necessarily intending to. I don't have to ask you how you feel about racial groups or gender groups. Instead, I just measure that indirectly. How easily can you associate black faces with good words compared to white faces with good words? The first test I ever took was a race test. I know who I am. I'm the great Mazarin, the egalitarian who's been teaching about all of this stuff. I can associate white and black equally with good and bad. So I do it, white and good, black and bad, easy peasy. I switch and my brain has just slowed down. First of all, I was shocked uh, to discover that I had in me something I wasn't aware of. It put us in a two by two box and didn't let us escape. It said, Mazarin, sit here and confront this. And so the first studies we did were at Yale uh, and at University of Washington on our own students. And then in 1998, we began to worry that maybe people will write this off by saying, oh, college students, who cares? And so I started to make uh, pitches to Mazarin and Tony saying we could put this on the internet. We were expecting that we'd put the test up and maybe 500 people would show up in the first year. And in the first month, we had 45,000 completed tests. And in that moment, I knew the horse has left the barn. We didn't know that we were working on something that could prove practically important. There are many organizations now that want to confront this. Police departments, military, which have been moving to understand these issues in a wonderful way. So much really good work has already been done that it gives us the luxury now of taking a step back and asking one interesting question. And that is, how do we change ourselves?